So, so first of all, of course, everybody knows Michigan State Athletics. So the Spartans are known around the world. And uh, one of the things that was very exciting for my wife, who's actually a, a huge basketball fan, you might not necessarily <laughs> recognize that, <laughs> but she is a huge basketball fan. And her excitement about becoming part of Spartan Athletics and Spartan Basketball was, was really palpable. Um, I, I think college athletics are incredibly important. I think for Michigan State, athletics really are a portal by which the world sees you. So it really is a way to build name recognition. And I think that allows you to do a number of other things. So I think athletics does that. It helps cement your relationship with your alumni. It helps make you an integral part of the community. It really builds a kind of a, a, a partnership, if you will, um, about, about uh, and something that everybody can talk about. It really cuts across um, socioeconomic areas. It cuts across everything. People will follow the Spartans and be loyal to the Spartans, and really all those things vanish away. Um, I think it's important that we think about student athletes when we think about athletics. So for me, when I was on the NCAA Board of Directors and Board of Governors, and when I been, had the opportunity to lead Stony Brook University, one of the things I focused on, I led the America East Conference. You may not know what that is, but I, I, led, <laughs> and I, I led the America East Conference, which is actually an outstanding conference with, with the great commissioner. But it tends to chair that conference for a number of years. And there, my focus was really on student athletes. So the athletics is incredibly important. It means a lot to the university. But the student athletes are incredibly important. And what I came to experience from, from having done those things was a tremendous set of respect for student athletes. Um, how they learn to manage time, how they develop leadership potential, and the difference they can make to a community. Um, they really are leaders on campus. So I see these very positive things about that athletics. I also see some of the challenges, and I'm aware, obviously, of some of the things the, that have been in public and so on. So, but I think, in general, I'm very bullish on what's going to be done. And I look forward again to working with our athletics director, and again understanding from the community what people's thoughts are about athletics. As a follow for both you and, and Trustee Byram, um, was that role with the NCAA board of directors uh, a vital piece to this? I mean, you know, you have no Power Five experience, but obviously you've been at the highest level uh, in the NCAA governance. I will say it was a piece, but it it wasn't at the top of our list of qualities and characteristics. We didn't seek a presidential candidate that had a stellar record in athletics. In my mind, it was a bonus because he did have ha, had the experience of being on the NCA, NCAA Board of Directors and Governors, but it was really the student wellness piece that resonated most with the search committee. So, in the back here. Yes, I'm going to take that from WXYZ in Detroit. How soon will you be sitting down with victims of Larry Nassar and actually 